Hello my friends, I am Sarah, welcome to Grace in My Space. Today is part three of our mini kitchen makeover, DIY style, trying to do it as affordably as possible. If you missed the first two videos in this series, I have a video on how to paint a tile backsplash and a video on how to paint kitchen cabinets so that they have a professional finish and have long-term durability. Now today, today we're getting to the hard part. Time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> now I kind of pride myself a little bit, just a little bit, on doing makeovers super duper affordably. This day and age, it is extremely hard to do any kind of home renovation without spending a lot of money. And so if I can do something for less than $500, you better believe that I'm going to try. Now, so far, I have spent $30 on a can of paint for the backsplash, and I spent $75 on a can of paint for the lower cabinets. Since when does paint cost $75 a gallon? So I'm at 105 so far. That is not bad for a kitchen makeover that is looking 100% different. It makes me happy. Today though, today's where some money might be involved. Now, as you can see, the previous owner has painted the crown molding in this kitchen red, which matched the lower cabinets and all of the trim that was in this house before I painted it all. And I would like to now completely eradicate the red. Red's just not my favorite. It works for a lot of people. I much prefer other tones. So today we are gonna eradicate the rest of this red by removing the crown molding and replacing it with a more modern crown that I'm just gonna kinda come up with and build on my own and hopefully, fingers crossed, match the wood tone of the upper cabinets. I enjoy this medium wood tone. I do think it's very beautiful and it goes very well with the color that I painted on the bottom. So we're going to try and make it all seamless, which also includes the side panels that have been painted of the upper cabinetry, which I cannot just sand down because they're not real wood on the sides. So we're gonna have to kind of come up with plan B. Let's go. Now I had a few plans on how I could go about this task. And rather than only show you the one that worked, I'm gonna walk you through all of the different options that I kind of troubleshooted as I went through this project. I've never installed crowns, so I don't even know how you install it. I'm a very visual learner, so seeing how this is assembled from up top is actually very helpful. Very helpful. Whoever installed this crown, man, they did a good job. Those miters are perfect. I could never replicate that. Well, not without a lot of trying. So here's where we're starting. I got a bunch of just random trim I had at home to see what things would look like with a combo to do kind of like a straight crown. So instead of the curve and the angle, just doing something straight on but perhaps like with some fun molding to make it a little layered. Cause there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Kind of make your own crown. I thought like a cat might be cute. Let the fun begin. So far so good. Okay, so just to like kind of test it out a little bit, I put up a piece of one by three and then I have a super thin trim that I thought we could kind of make something decorative out of it. It's hard to tell, so we'll just get to it. I'm gonna do a little experiment before we go through the process of buying and installing all new crown molding. Gonna be a interesting process. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, I'm gonna reinstall the crown. Hopeful but skeptical that my next plan is gonna work. We'll find out together. I'm using this product called Retique It. It's actually liquid wood. So there's a bunch of wood particles in what looks like paint. It's extremely runny. I'm very unsure about this. 
I mean, it is very, very runny. She doesn't look like much right now. And I don't know if she'll look like much when we're done. <laughs> but this is the first coat. And it takes at least one more coat and then you stain it. This is a big old experiment here. Also, previous owner left this some kind of drink and I can't get it out because it's wedged right on in there. So it's gonna be there forever. Day two, coat two. I am extremely skeptical on if this is going to work, but also hopeful. So I'll be your guinea pig. If you have a project that you think um, you would like something to look like wood that is not, I'm gonna be your test, test run on if this product works or not. The key is to do very long strokes so that it looks like it's not brushed. Or a roller, but I kind of wanted to use a brush because I thought it might help add that texture that a grain would have. Since my wood graining tool was junk, didn't work. Now, while I had originally planned to remove and replace all of the crown, I quickly realized that the way that it was installed was done very well. And I didn't think that I could replace the crown and have it look as high quality and well built. And so I started researching other ways to make products look like wood and I came across Retikit. Here goes nothing. Once I get the stain on, I'm not really much turning back without a lot of work, so. Fingers crossed. As you could see with that first step, you paint on a liquid wood first, and then you go over top of it with stain. And the particles of wood within that first coat actually grab the stain and make it look like real wood. I think it might work. <laughs> I think this might work. Ah. I'm in a wee bit of disbelief right now. I can't believe this is working. So I'm using a brush to get into these corners. The rag just kind of smears it. I don't think I'd believe it. I am so pleased with how the crown molding and the side of the cabinets that was previously painted red turned out. I was a million percent skeptical. Were you too? As soon as I opened that jar of Retikit and saw how runny it was and just looked at the way that the paint was going on, I thought this is gonna be a DIY fail, but I went for it. It was one of those things where you kind of had to trust the process, even though I 100% did not trust the process and just kept going. And I can't believe, I just can't believe it, honestly. I'm a little bit in shock. Now, is it perfect? No. Is it the identical match to the wood? Pretty darn close, but not 100% identical. Was it extremely affordable, fairly easy and relatively quick? Yes, yes it was, especially compared to replacing the crown with my lack of finished carpentry skills. I saved myself a ton of work, a lot of frustration, I am certain of it, and a lot of money. Couldn't be happier. Now the goal of this project was just to breathe some new life into the kitchen. I wanted to modernize it a little bit 
take away that red from the upper cabinets, tone down the lower cabinets to have more of a calming lake vibe since we are on a lake. And I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially for the amount of money that I spent on this entire kitchen makeover. You will not believe what the final cost was. Just as a reminder, this is what the kitchen looked like before. It had great bones. The tile was in very good shape. The cabinetry was in good shape. It was all just aesthetics that needed to be updated. And now it's like I have a brand new kitchen. Let's recap. I started by painting the backsplash and then I painted the lower cabinets toned it all down, took away some of that busy pattern and bold colors. And then with this project for today's video, I updated the crown molding to look like wood, even though it was previously painted bright red. Total cost of this project, $75 for a can of paint on the lower cabinets, $30 for the backsplash paint, and $50 for the reticket, totaling $155 for the entire kitchen remodel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this three-part series on how to completely revamp your entire kitchen with only paint. What? Still amazed, gotta admit. If you're interested in staying at the Haven Cottage, check out the booking link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more to come.